Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at the Hampton Pure Bio Ethanol Wood Burning Stove. We've had this stove for around about a year now. It's proven really popular. Um, we've done a video before on the one which converts to a wood burning unit. But we want to talk through the actual, um, the Pure Bio model itself. So this is a really good option for people looking for a small um, bioethanol stove that don't have the intention of converting it back to a wood burner. So if that's you and you think I just want a bio stove, then this is um, a really good potential option for you. So as we mentioned in the other videos, this is based around the standard Hampton and if you look at them next to each other like we've got them here, very hard to tell the difference between the two because the cast iron door is exactly the same, the cast iron grill in the front is exactly the same as a wood burning stove so it's not trying to really be it, it is in large a wood burning stove. The body itself is the same dimensions, but the key difference is the thickness of steel is thinner on the bio stove, which might seem a negative, but it's actually an advantage. Because bio stoves don't give out the same heat as a wood burner, that intense heat um, is less. This thinner steel, it gets hotter quicker and is better for a bio stove. But we've designed and made them to balance, um, to balance how it feels and looks and how it performs. So to get the steel thickness just right, so it looks durable, is durable, um, and isn't too thin or too thick. Um, so I hope you can hear it, it's, you, know, you can still feel it's not thin and tinny, like real echoey bang, it's not, it's not that at all. And it is almost, I think, double the weight of many other similar size stoves or bigger stoves in the bio market. So we like to think it's a really good um, bioethanol stove. And as a whole, it works really well as well because it's a bioethanol only stove, it, it burns that fuel really well. Uh, it's got permanent airflow around the stove, so it gets the ambient air into the stove nicely with no air blowing over it or anything like that, uh, and works really well and has the, um, has the log option too. As regard to um, output, it, it's always hard to say how much exact heat output they give, but it's roughly the same as a an oil-fired radiator on medium to high, really. Um, I was surprised myself when we first started designing them how much heat they give out, and I've actually used mine uh, an awful lot because I've got mine in sort of a conservatory uh, like this, where it, it burns nice and heats it really well. Um, a full litre bottle will get you about three hours worth of burn, roughly a pound an hour um, at the current rate of the fuel and it's really good and easy to manage how much fuel you're using, uh, which I also find quite useful too. So I'll turn the heating off uh, for the day, but if, say, if it's going into spring where the evenings can be a bit chilly, put it on for the few hours in the evening, you know how much you're gonna use, um, and it's really good. The flame-wise, they give a good flame pattern. It's not just a little candle flickering. It looks very realistic. Uh, and you've also got the chimney options too, so you've got on here at the moment the straight flue which is going to be perfect for going into an existing chimney. And the advantage as well is it also comes now with a small steel metal plate uh, which just goes underneath this collar which prevents the heat from rising up the chimney. Because you don't need a chimney at all, you can have it just sat here, no chimney and it'll burn away nicely. But if you want that real wood burning stove effect, um, you can put the flue on top and then have the blanking plate just on here and then the heat will come back into the room. So you've got that chimney look without the negative of the heat being lost. Um, you can also get a 90 degree bend to go into the wall to give the look, uh, with a rosette, to go into the wall to give the look of a chimney going through the wall. So there's multiple options for it. No hearth required um, on it either, no insulation, no maintenance. Really easy to use there. Plop them down, fuel in, off you go. Finished in black as well, same as the stoves, flue collar, cast iron, same as the stove. Just going back to how they are very, very similar to them based around it, but um, apart from that, not much else I think. Um, always if you have any questions, do just let us know and I hope this video has helped.